Hi there, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister, Indian Run Christian Church. Continuing today in the little series from the third chapter of Second Peter, and let me read again for you verses 10 to 15. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, in which the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the elements will be destroyed with intense heat, and the earth and all its works will be burned up. Since all these things are to be destroyed in this way, what sort of people ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of the Lord, because of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning, and the elements melt with intense heat. But according to his promise, we are looking for a new heavens, and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you look for these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, spotless and blameless, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given him, wrote to you. I said yesterday that we ought to be an expectant people, looking for history to move to a certain end that fulfills the purposes of God. And this should make us optimistic. Let me tell you the second thing that this passage brings to our attention. When he comes, he should find us in peace. Now, you may think that peace is the opposite of war, but in the concept of the Bible, peace is the opposite of confusion and chaos. We are possessed of certain knowledge, of certain hope, of a sure fixed point on the horizon to guide us. We are not in confusion, for we have faith in God that brings us peace. Oh, if Christ were to come today, Would he find his people in peace? Or have we set our hair on fire and run off in search of a plate glass window to throw ourselves through? Do we panic? Are we overwhelmed by circumstances? I hope not. Because knowing that God moves all things toward the appointed end and that that end will be great and glorious... We should be found dwelling in the peace of Christ when he returns. If this is the end times, what better way for him to find us than living in his peace when he comes? If you would pray with me. Father God, I just pray that that peace descends on us and that we are relieved of fear and confusion, and that we are people who, in the midst of the chaos, keep our eyes on that fixed point that you have put in front of us, the second coming of Jesus Christ, and are guided by it. For we ask these things in his name. Amen.